Welcome, my dear friends, to the universe to Sanjgun's top 10 list of my most anticipated games of 2016. Spot number 10, we have Tom Clancy's The Division. This game is the game that loads of people are on the hype train for, and it looks like it's going to be really cool. With that said though, The Division barely made this list, mainly because I have that gut feeling that this just might be on a similar destructive hype train that Watch Dogs and Destiny was moving on post-launch, so I'm cautiously optimistic, but Squatting up with some friends in this crisis-stricken open-world multiplayer version of New York in order to investigate and control the impact some sort of virus has caused and the grind for that epic loot does sound very intriguing. And the gameplay looks like it could be right up my alley, so I'm really hoping Ubisoft delivers on this one. Current release date is set to March 8th on PC, PlayStation 4 and on Xbox One. Spot number 9, we have Mass Effect Andromeda. After the, let's say, clunky ending of Mass Effect 3, I left the loved Mass Effect franchise and the countless of hours I've spent in it behind me, thinking that we most likely would not be visiting this universe again. And because of that, I got pretty baffled when watching the E3 2015 showcase when I saw the Mass Effect Andromeda trailer for the first time. Will this game be a comeback to form for the Mass Effect franchise or even, in my opinion, for Bioware? Yet, I have no clue, but I am excited to see what they intend to do with Mass Effect from here on out. Mass Effect Andromeda is expected to be released late 2016. On spot number 8 we have For Honor, a game that very much reminds me of the game Chivalry, in a good way. The game looks to have a very robust and well-made close combat system where you play the roles of historical soldiers such as medieval knights, samurai and vikings, bringing the feeling of chivalry to a AAA title. Skill-based close combat like this can be very satisfying when mastered and done right. Getting up close and pummeling out my enemies in the multiplayer mode will be a refreshing change from all the shooters I'll most likely spend countless of hours playing in 2016. For Honor is in development by Ubisoft Montreal and set to be published by Ubisoft for PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. As of making this video, the release date is yet to be announced. On spot number 7 we have Squad, a first-person military sim shooter developed by Offworld Industries currently available in early access on Steam. Having roots from the popular Project Reality mod for Battlefield 2, it's no wonder that the game mechanics feel tested and polished already, delivering one of the most immersive and realistic combat experiences of 2016, while also creating some of the best team play moments I've had in the game with the current alpha. The game is played online on large-scale maps and in large teams. The game is planned to remain in early access on Steam for PC until the end of 2016. Get down with the victim We both know you need them You're stuck in the middle Of all irrelevance on spot number 6 we have Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, remaking the Ghost Recon games into something entirely new and exciting. 
It will be set in an open world environment in the country of Bolivia. These lands are under control of a big drug cartel that you and your team have to destroy as well as investigate the corruption taking place in the higher instances in the area. And how you go about doing so is up to you. Ghost Recon Wildlands seems to be delivering both amazing graphics and an incredible well-crafted environment. The game will be entirely playable in single-player or four-player co-op, making it one of the most anticipated co-op games for me to play with my friends this year. It will be set in current time with high-tech gadgets and tools making a refreshing change from the other futuristic-inspired games that we had last year. The game is developed by Ubisoft Paris and is set to be published by Ubisoft for PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. The release date is yet to be announced. Get behind Locked and loaded. Prepare to attack. Three, two, one. Capture the objective. Let's go. On spot number five, we have Overwatch. The game studio Blizzard Entertainment is well known for being able to innovate game genres into some of the highest quality and most fun games we have on the market today. Taking inspirational elements from such games as Team Fortress 2 and combining that with MOBA-esque type setups in terms of team versus team combat and the class-based fighting system, Overwatch will most likely be greatly innovative and a hugely popular experience that is just straight up plain good old fun. I know I will play the crap out of this game once it's released and I think the newly born Overwatch universe is something that we'll see a lot more of in the future as well, not only in terms of games. It seems well written, easy to take in at any age, and something that could possibly appeal to a huge audience. Put it however you'd like, Overwatch will be a force to be reckoned with. You can expect to get your hands on this game in the spring of this year. Die! One down. Barbara! On the spot number 4 we have Escape from Tarkov. On the website it says that Escape from Tarkov is a hardcore and realistic online first person action RPG slash simulator with MMO features and a story driven walkthrough. What that actually entails is for us to guess at the moment, but with the amazing footage released in the trailer so far and with a development team that have developers from the very successful Stalker games, it's not hard to see where the inspiration is taken from. It looks to have a very good weapon modification system as well as very cool first person shooter action. The game looks innovative enough to be something to be excited for, and it does not seem to be yet another survival game. I am on the hype train for this one and I am very excited to see where this ends up. The game is being developed by Battlestate Games and exactly when we can expect to be able to pick up this game is yet to be announced. Because she made all nations drink the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the smoke of their torment ascends forever. On spot number three, we have Outlast 2. I am a very big horror game fan, and the first Outlast and its DLC Whistleblower was some of the most memorable gaming experiences I've ever had. Not much is known about Outlaws 2 though, but we can probably expect it to use the same type of horror that spins off very messed up people with mental issues trying to get their way with you. Whatever it is, I am very hyped for what the developer Red Barrels will come up with. It's one of the few promising horror titles that we can look forward to that has been announced for 2016 so far. And since this is one of my favorite genres, this one aims to fill a big hole for me this year. I do hope we get other surprises, such as Until Dawn that we got last year though. We can expect to get our hands on this game this fall.
On spot number two, we have Star Citizen. Being the most crowdfunded game project in history, I think more people than me expect great things out of Star Citizen. The project aims to create a persistent universe, and the project is hinting towards that it is heading somewhere amazing. It has been stated that a single-player campaign named Squadron 42 is aimed to have a 2016 release. And with cutting-edge advances in the CryEngine being put to good use, as well as multiple Hollywood actors voicing some of the characters in Squadron 42, it aims out to be very impressive and as grand a scale as has been promised. Late 2015, we got our first real taste of Star Citizen's universe with the Alpha 2.0 module. The immense possibilities an outcome of this game is what keeps me and thousands of others excited and hoping for more out of Star Citizen this year. Every module we get leaves me wanting more and if Robert Space Industries simply delivers what has been promised, we can expect an amazing experience in the near future. ends. Intel from the Chinese mainland has brought us to this frozen wasteland. Rumors of secret weapon and manufacturing facilities suggest that Russia is arming for the next evolution of warfare. We don't know what we're going to find up here, but it's clear that they are more than prepared to make their final stand. On spot number one of my most anticipated games of 2016, we have Battlefield 5. Whatever the next installment of the Battlefield franchise is going to be called, I can't say enough how excited I am for it. While Battlefield 4 had a very messy launch, it is now, thanks to the newly formed DICE LA, one of the best multiplayer shooters available on the market, taking the experience from developing both Battlefield 4 and Battlefront in recent times, and all the player feedback from those projects and earlier projects, I would be amazed if DICE Stockholm would not deliver one of the best Battlefields yet this year. What kind of theme the game will hold has been discussed wildly, and it could go any direction at this point, but whether the game will be futuristic, historical or present day, I have high expectations from DICE on this one. Enough so that it took the number one spot on my list. Almost nothing is known about this project other than it's expected to be released in late 2016. Ubisoft is surprisingly present with risk-taking and new innovatives 2016. I do have a past as having big issues with Ubisoft due to how they present and handle everything around the releases, but if they continue on the path they are trying to lay down with Rainbow Six Siege from late 2015, I think we can start to expect great things from them in the future. 2016 looks to be a year of advancements in the gaming industry with huge new franchises and ideas as well with us finally getting to purchase and use virtual reality. If VR is going to be a growing thing or not is yet to be seen. I remain silently optimistic about that. Either way, I expect great things from the gaming industry in 2016. I also want to give an honorable mention to the Final Fantasy VII Remake that is coming out from Square Enix in October this year. Final Fantasy VII is one of my favorite games of all time, but I just don't dare to start hype it or anticipate anything from it, because even if I want it to be great, I don't want it to ruin my hopes of what it could be. Therefore, it did not hold a place on this list. It's a bit of a paradox. I know, and we'll have to see with that one, I guess. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below about your most anticipated games of 2016 in the comments below. Like and share if you enjoyed and until next time. Bye.